What is going on guys? It's the Mad Dragon. So the Super Rugby Arteroa is going to be starting this week and it dawned on me that some people may not know a lot about the tournament itself. I personally am based in Britain and until being able to watch the Super Rugby Arteroa last year, I didn't know an awful lot about the Southern Hemisphere club level rugby and I thought some other people may enjoy getting to know a little bit more about the tournament. So I thought I'd come up with a super simple breakdown of everything you sort of need to know about the tournament, who's in it, how it works, and then have a little bit of a closer look at some of the players involved. So the Super Rugby Arteroa started last year and comprises of five teams, the Blues, the Crusaders, the Hurricanes, the Chiefs and the Highlanders. The tournament plays over the course of 10 weeks, with the first game being on the 26th of February and the final on the 8th of May. Each week, four teams play each other, with a fifth having a bye week, which is basically like a rest week for that team. Each week, these teams swap around, playing a different team and alternating one team having a bye week. Over the course of the 10 weeks, each team will play the other four teams twice, once at home and once away. And based on the results of those games, they will, of course, win points. It's four points for a win. It's zero points for a loss. There is actually two points for a draw, but it's quite hard to get a draw in this tournament. They have a sort of golden rule point difference thing where at the end of the 80 minutes, if it's a draw, they play for an extended amount of time and first score wins. It was sort of like what they happened with the Autumn Nations Cup final between England and France. There is also bonus points and offer for scoring tries and, of course, the losing bonus point for finishing within seven of the winning team and at the end of that they will be ordered into a table depending on their points now last year at the end of the tournament whoever was at the top of the table was declared the winner which last year was the crusaders however there has been a change in the rules this year and for the 2021 super rugby Arteroa, the top two teams in the table will proceed to play a final match and whoever wins that is officially declared the winner so unlike other tournaments, there is absolutely nothing wrong with coming second place as long as you can step it up a notch in that final game. Looking at the teams themselves, before the tournament begins, the Crusaders have the best odds to win in that final. They are the current defenders of the title. However, with some new rules added, it will most likely shake up the tournament a little bit. As for the teams themselves, the rugby is at a really high standard after I watched it last year, and there's a lot of big names in the team, so even if you're not super familiar with the Southern Hemisphere rugby, there's certainly people you'll know from the New Zealand international rugby team sort of dispersed across the various teams. And watching this tournament last year certainly helped me understand a lot more about New Zealand rugby, and it's very enjoyable tournament to watch, to be honest. The standard of rugby is very good, and I recommend any newcomers to try and watch a couple of games, even if it's just catching some highlights, just to see the level of rugby that's on in the southern hemisphere at the minute so this is just going to be a short video today guys i just thought i'd sort of break down the tournament for any newcomers who might fancy checking it out this year but didn't really know how it all works or even if you've watched it a little bit before hopefully it came in useful just to know about some of the rule changes that are coming in hopefully you found this video useful and a bit informational on the super rugby r and if you did make sure to drop the video a like i'm sure there's plenty of people out there who like me don't know a lot about it and would anyone like me to cover some of the games maybe even the tournament as a whole i did do a couple of videos reviewing some of the Super Rugby Arturo games last year. I don't claim to be the most knowledgeable on the teams or the players because obviously it's all New Zealand based. I'm much more Northern Hemisphere sort of knowledge base for rugby. But I certainly think it's fun to try and learn. And if you guys want to learn along with me as we sort of watch and maybe review some of the games, it might help broaden some people's views on some of the rugby that's going on in the Southern Hemisphere. So if you do want to see some videos on the tournament, make sure you drop it down in the comments. I know there have been a couple of subscribers that wanted me to cover a bit more of the Southern Hemisphere rugby. Just unfortunately, I don't get to watch a lot of it up here. But if it's something you think you guys would be interested in, make sure you drop it down in the comments just to let me know how many people would actually be interested in learning a little bit about the Super Rugby Arto as it's going to be taking place place and make sure you subscribe to the channel just to keep up to date with all the latest videos as they come out i hope you've all enjoyed today guys i will see you next time bye bye